All of the walls here are done with what you call mass load vinyl. In the old days, like at United Western and some of the old studios, they build uh, two walls and they have space between the walls. Yep. Well, mass load vinyl is really, really heavy. A, a piece of it this big, I can't hold, it's so heavy. Yeah. So we, this, this, this studio is made out of metal beams everywhere to hold the load on the ceiling, yep. the load on the walls. And even with the glass windows, you can't hear anything outside. We're playing the wow. drums and blasting at four in the morning. The neighbors don't hear anything. That's, that's yeah, awesome. if you stand in the middle of the street and it's dead quiet, you won't hear the speakers blasting. And, and it gets loud here. It gets loud. <laughs> and the drums are even louder. Yeah. But you won't hear anything. That's so cool. Then there's these new doors. When these close, there's mechanisms that go down and seal it to the floor. Wow. So it's not just like a simple door. Oh, yeah. No, that's, it shuts down. Yeah. And locks it, it seals itself. Then you have to, you have to push this to, um, to undo it, you know. Yeah, that so they're is very awesome. complex doors with very heavy. If you look at these, it shows you how heavy this door is. Yeah. You know? And so this part of my deal here, this is just something I wanted. Uh, I used to record at the record plant in Sausalito and the one here all the time. And I've been to Electric Ladyland, New York, and the Jimi Hendrix feel, yeah. right? Just the feel. It was always the Moroccan, you know, that thing with the, the bean bag. I mean, in the old days, I guess people would be smoking their pipe and doing some cocaine. I don't do that, <laughs> but the look of it is cool. Yeah, yeah. Know, I just want the look. So I made this extra deep where we could put a Moroccan day bed in. And I got this at a Moroccan store and the guy said, what colors do you want? I said, all of them. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I said, my walls are orange and let's yeah. go for it. You know? And this actually comes with poles to go up here and you can put the thing around it. So I didn't go that far. Oh right? yeah. If I was in my 20s still, I might have done that with the girls. <laughs> and open. I said, I'm going to be needing that. You know? And then we had this made in the back and we got lights going everywhere. Yeah. And the, as you see, the floors light up as well. And he really thought of everything with the, yeah. like it seems like everything is hidden. Yeah, well, yeah everything's hidden. It's nice. Yeah, everything's clean, everything's hidden. And this art piece came from Barbara Domsky. She did the Las Vegas airport, the, the uh, Wynn Hotel and stuff like that. So you know, she was a fan of mine. I was definitely a fan of hers. Yeah. So I somehow convinced her to make this art piece to fit in the middle. I call this like the sundown or the, it's actually the center of the studio, the center of the universe. Yeah. And it's it's a crazy impression piece. Each one of those lines is a separate piece of glass. Oh. <laughs> exactly. That is crazy. And it weighs hundreds of pounds. So her and her husband had to actually drive here in a van from Las Vegas and hang it for me. Ooh. And so it's just uh, like you touch, it's, just, it's really, each one is just a line and it just really makes the studio pop. Beautiful. Like crazy. That's great. This I got in Macho Swiss, and that's a painted a clawed knob. There's only so many of those, I think 50. So I got one of them. And then the other artwork here is Ernie Barnes' original painting from the Sugar Shack. And the Sugar Shack is a very famous painting by Ernie Barnes the, from the Marvin Gaye I Want You album. Yeah. And he blew this up to show one of the band members from the I Want You album, which just so happens to be on that album, I'm playing the guitar. <laughs> so I told the famous artist, Ernie Barnes, I said, you don't know it, but you drew me playing the guitar. <laughs> so I got to have this painting. So Man, that is that so cool. Yeah. That's awesome. So I took that one. And then out this door, see if you open it. I have a vineyard there. So we growing grapes. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to catch yeah. that on there, but look at that. Amazing. Yeah, we're growing red grapes out there, in which I have several years bottled. Man, really utilizing every oh yeah, yeah. every square yeah. inch. That's so cool. And we didn't make a staircase going to the basement because we don't want to mix all this stuff together. You oh, got to okay. go out the front door and walk all the way around oh, okay. that way. Otherwise, you know, because this people is like, are coming in. And yeah, out. they'd be bringing food and grapes in here, and it's not. Yeah, yeah. And we don't want none of that. And then over here, my kids play the piano. I don't play that much. I'm a guitar player at heart. But we got everything on the patch cable system here. We got live wire, what do you call that? Oh, the live stream Live thing? stream, streaming thing where we can do, you know, mix the yeah. video tracks together. I don't know how to use it, but I guess somebody will be able to do yeah. it for me. And then this console is just a mixed, mixed piece of gear. Instead of the old days when you had like an SSL and all, you had 36 channels, but all channels were the same, you know, 100 channels and they're all the same. 
now you can mix and match things. Like I said, I like the sound of a Neve console, so I got, you know, four Neve old 1073s, and you can put, you know, distressor mixers. These are the BAE EQs, but at the same time, I got API preamps and API EQs. Yeah. Right? And so you can mix it and put the different things together for all the different sounds you need. Yeah, this is a nice collection of stuff here. Here we got 24 channels of analog, you know, stuff just like if you had an old console. Yeah. But they don't get broken and fall, you know, yeah. go out of style like an old console because you can pull in and pull out other things and replace them. This is actually the um, Allen size thing. I can't read it now. Tone Lux, that's the stuff that they make. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. And then these are the new R&D mm -hmm. Ripper Neves. Yeah, and these are some of my favorite uh, DeMario Labs. They made a old, uh, if I oh, used okay. to use these in the old Stereo days. tube compressor? Yeah, I think I used that on Ghostbusters, actually. Oh, no way. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, they just had a great sound that I really, really liked. You know? Hey, thanks for checking out this clip. If you're setting up your own studio and you have any questions about how to hook things up, what to plan for, what gear you are thinking about getting, how you want to go about it, you can schedule a call with me at andrewmastersmusic.com. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, one hour consultation where you can ask me anything you want. The link is down in the description. Go schedule your call today. And if you're just chilling and you want to subscribe or watch another clip, click one of these two things.